Right, why are you guys obstructing the view? I'm trying to do an intro here, and you guys are just obstructing the view. Well, welcome back, guys, to Tears of the Kingdom. Um, we're going to go and explore this massive, definitely not ominous uh, space over here. Um, which definitely is not a boss fight. Um, and see what... Because, I mean, last time we sorted out the Yiga clan. Um, and apparently they were disguising themselves as trees to, uh, to jump us. Which I don't really think is the, the case. Actually, let me get a key's eyeball. Is there an eyeball? Have I got an eyeball? Aha. And now... Whee! Boom! Get fucked. Abandoned Gerudo Mine. Mate, this guy got fucked. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, is that... There he is. That's him. Master Koga himself. Hopefully there's no cutscene, because I want to just go around him. I'm not going to lie. Ah. Oh. oh, wait, it's a... Oh. He's taken over the mine. That makes sense now. That's why the mine is, like, not very taken over very well, or it's just kind of like this, and it's not really running. Because he's trying to run the mine, but only I can open it, and it's been taken over by him. I'm hungry. All this turnover has left to a supply shortage in the bases. Do you know how hard it is to find a banana? The depths are... Well, it can't be that hard, considering your base has an entire fucking mountain of them. It's crazy how it's hard to find a banana in this world. The depths are a complete wasteland. Nothing around here seems in the least bit edible. You'd think that everyone would take that seriously and respect the ingredient and food stock, but no! That wretched new recruit ate a whole a whole shipment of bananas the moment I took my eyes off him. From now on, I'm keeping my own supply. Glory to Master Koga. Why do they all end with glory to Master Koga? Did this guy just turn up out of nowhere and just like, yeah, I'm the boss. <laughs> to be fair, the ones that... I'll take that. To, to be fair, the ones that are usually the leaders of place have usually had the most sacrifice, which is why all the followers, like, follow them. Because they usually have the most sacrifice. Like, if you watch, like, it's not... I don't really think it's a secret at this point that I'm very into anime. Like, I'm very into anime. Like, I've watched a lot. If you watch Code Geass, you'll notice that the people that have a large following usually have made the most sacrifices. Um, like, that, that's the same with, like, pretty much every single, like, secret team, like, ever. Or, like, every single, like, captain of a squad. Like, they've usually had the most sacrifices. Or, they have the most power. So, either they've gotten to a certain point by being there, or they have the most power. So, maybe, I don't think this guy has any of that. He can't be that strong. Hmm? It's the right hand, right? So, why isn't this working? You back there. Take over for a while. Oh. Huh? It's you again. You can't fool me looking like that. So, Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm doing what you did. Exactly. But it refuses to work. You tricked me. I won't stand for this. You were, you wasted some some of my time, but no more. I'll battle you. I'll beat you, and I'll steal that power back from you. Prepare yourself. It's the goofy ass Master Koga again. Ah. So I do have to fight him. Is this really all it's going to take? Oh, sh He can shoot bombs at me. Is 
that really? Man. Well, now he's got a fucking light screen. And he's fucking bombing me. Do I have to hit the light screen or what? Because, I mean, I can bomb flower him. Boom! That is a fucking cheat code. I don't... I seriously have no idea why I did that. That is a fucking cheat code. If a, if a boss like that is stationary, that is insane. This place has too much sand. You're only, you're only winning because it keeps getting in my eyes. So I'm going to let you off easy. That hunk of junk construct wasn't responding anyway. Change of plans. Operation still the ancient power is over. I quit. I thought that power might make things easier, but it's just icing. I'm after cake. We've been collecting a mighty power source crystallized across this land. Crystallized charges. We're going to use them to restore an unstoppable weapon for the man himself, the magnificent one. Who's that? Is that Ganondorf? Once we do, we'll grant his wish for the end of the world. So we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is underway, and the restoration of the final products is close at hand. We've already stripped all the resources here. If you want an empty shell, you can have it. I'm going to be swimming in crystals at the, at the eastern abandoned mine. Why would you tell us where you're going? Now away I fly. Ah, oh, cheese. Cheese. You know, what? it's great that you tell me where, my, where you're going so I can just... Oh. Yeah, it's great that you tell, tell me where you're going so I can come and beat your ass again. Greetings. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. The eastern abandoned mine that man, that man spoke of is most likely the abandoned Lanayru mine. It is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. I suggest send to the surface first. You may be able to find a chasm leading there in the region to the east. But there are two chasms in the region to the east that contain stone guideposts leading to the abandoned Lanayru mine. I recall a chasm in the Lanayru wetlands. There is also one south of there in, in a mountain village. There's one other thing you must resume your journey. Oh, hello. My associate over there manages the schema stones. You might want to ask him for one. Cool. So this is like a really long quest then. Having Koga. A huge crystallized charge. We got 120. Oh, hello, guys. That's it. You run to me because the cutscene puts me back here and you guys cannot be without me because I've got the, the, the stones. What's up, guys? Hello, associate. Authorizer verified. Hello. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold on one moment. I have confirmed there is a schema stone you yet do not have. Allow me to rectify that. Thanks. It's a hovercraft. The new build has been registered with auto-build. Or the new design. I will also prepare the parts required to test it via auto-build. It's like a prototype. Well, not really, but... I'm curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto-build will do if you have insufficient parts? And tell me. Also, but we'll not be able to manufacture an object if any of component parts are missing. But Zonite can help with this. You can supplement missing parts by using Zonite to mimic their form and properties. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind that they are temporary parts and created by the auto build ability. You cannot use them for other purposes. They will vanish when you disassemble the creation they were intended for. I assure, I assure you that they are useful despite their, these limitations. I hope you find your own purpose to for them. Is this the... Uh what you wanted me to, to make. Ow. 
Ah, so that's what Zonite is used for. I don't know if this does anything though. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this does fuck all, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this shit is ass. This shit does fuck all. Wait, is there a... There is a cheese over here. What is this? I found a cheese. Oh, a large crystallized charge. I don't really like being this this far east. Where am I? What did he say? Well, I, I can't remember what he said. Something wetlands. The Lanayru wetlands. I can't remember what he said. Where is that? Ah. It's over here. Oh shit, he's like all the way over here. Oh, so it tells you where he goes. But I'm gonna have to start here and then like make my way over. That's fine. I can do that. Cheers, bruv. I think this whole episode is just going to be me just chasing Master Koga around because I feel like he's going to go to every single mine and I'm going to have to chase him around every single mine because that's going to piss me off. Like, I don't, I don't want that to be the case. But I feel like it will be the case. See, there's a lot of there's a lot of side adventures in this game, which I feel like I've kind of done in the wrong order. Which is something that I feel like I kind of regret when playing this game. I feel like I've done all of the story stuff way too fast, and I haven't actually appreciated much of the like the actual side adventures because this could have been done like way earlier on in the venture, but it's being done now solely because there's no other canon place to go. I mean, at least that's one thing. I mean, Echoes of Wisdom comes out very soon, so I feel like that's something to behold, I guess. And it's something that we can do. Um, there's places to be. If I go this way, that's going towards the, the, the cheese. Wait, can I get gloom resist? I kind of want gloom resistance. I really should wear the correct stuff for the correct area. Like, because I, I usually don't. I don't know what this thing does. Oh, it just gives me an extra... Oh wait, I have um seeds. Don't I? I forgot that it's not like pitch black in this thing. Ah, I can ascend. Not really. Oh, 
Well, this is just great. You know what? I do keep forgetting, right, that usually mountains in the overworld usually represent... Or, no, I think it's water in the overworld usually represents, like... No, what what did they say? Because I remember I watched some sort of video on this because I was like I was like th th that actually makes a lot more sense. But I think they said something like water in the overworld is like mountains in the depths. Which makes a lot of sense like actually thinking about it that way. So much harder to climb going like underneath. Don't think I can reach all the way up here. Might be able to. Oh no, it's actually just a roof. It is genuinely just a roof. Yeah, I remember, yeah. So water in the overworld is like... That makes a lot of sense. Water in the overworld is like um, mountains in, like down here. Oh, that's what this thing does. So it gives you resistance, so it will take away a heart. But it will restore itself. Yeah, it restores itself. That's fucking cool. There's a massive fucking statue. I'm trying to go round. Yeah, I'm trying to go round, but I don't think it's really working. Oh. See you later, boys. Got to mention that uh don't give a fuck you know what fuck that treasure i'm done with that you see that fucking jukes so do i actually have to go this way i actually do have to go this way crazy Is that a light route? It, it, it's, it's not. I thought it was, but it's just gloom. Yeah, it's literally just gloom. At the end of the day, we're going in the right direction. I guess it's good. Oh. Oh, shit. It's a bit of a trek, you know. Oh, you're joking.
Wait, I don't want the fucking pine cone. You know what? This gloom resistance gear is actually very effective. Because it'll take away the heart, but it won't but it re it replenishes itself. Oh fuck. That shit goes a long way away. Oh, there's a muck to rock boss fight. You know what? I love these things actually. They're actually quite cool. Replenish my health. It didn't actually free up the mine, but it freed up the bot the boss fight. You don't restore my hearts. That's quite rude. I love how there's um different things like this, like right next to it. Like there's a Zora Spee here. But this guy, the guy in Zora's domain needs the spear. So I might actually like use that because it, he needs the spear. And that's like intact as well. Okay, that was pointless. Hello. Well, I don't remember how to fight this guy. Where's Sidon? Wait, doesn't he... Keep forgetting. I think this is how you fight him. I forgot how you fight him. Oh, look at that. A third of the health already. Come on, mate. Come on, side on. Wait. Who? Where's my swords? I want to kill him quickly. Okay, that didn't really do much help, to be fair. Um, we'll use this one. Okay, let's go. Okay, that didn't really help much. Oh, that hurt. Okay, that hurt. Um, may as well give me glow. We're in the depths. Come on. Are you joking? All of that just for half of the boss fight stage. I could have fucking killed him at that point. This part's the more annoying part. He's not really difficult, he's just fucking annoying. I 
don't know how to like sort that. Man, how do I fight that? Do I just have to have Sidon's gear? Let me get away from the battlefield. Yeah. All of that just for a few. Come on. I love how I'm fighting this guy, but the main guy of the, of the day is the Yiga clan. Come on, Sion. all over the place. This is disgusting. Ah, cool of our. I'm dead. For fuck's sake, how do you fight that? How do you fight that? I need to cook more food soon. Oh, mate, I actually got him as well. Yeah! Come on. Are you joking? Oh, I have to fight him one more time. Man. That's got to be it, surely. There we go. Ugh. Oh my day. Jesus Christ. That was grim. Fair for a tiny little fucker, he's a bit annoying. He's not exactly the most pleasant person to fight, is he? Yeah, huge crystallized charge. And I still don't know where I'm going. Yippee! Oh, wait, there's fairies. I'm going to need them. Wait, doesn't Goron need to fight these? I can't fight these fuckers. There's pointless me fighting them. Yeah. I can't fight these little fuckers. They only take one thing anyway. Come on, Goron. Come on. He's fucked. 
Well, I need. How much stealth do I need to catch a fairy? the fucking water. I can't get them. <laughs> Eventually they'll come closer. Oh, Goron, you little fucking twat. No, he's gone. Where's my bright bloom seeds? I want them back. That was a uh, quite the severe draw. Well, that's not bad. At least I can track where I'm going. Well, I think I found it. Man, I must be so close to it, right? I've got to go south. So you're telling me that I've got to scale this wall? I don't want to... <laughs> is, that, is he going to follow me? Is he going to be a cunt and follow me? Because I'm not going to lie. I'm not interested in you. I just want to have some fun. What's up here? Come on, ascend. Ascend through the ranks. Well, this is pointless. What the fuck was the point in this? I'm supposed to be going at this way. Oh. Clearly not. Are you telling me there's another fucking wall in my way? Man, I, I don't get it. Have I genuinely got to go up on down? Because I'm going around it at this rate. Oh, because there's fucking water all around it. I can't reach the top of that. Somebody clearly thinks it's possible for me to reach the top of this. So maybe we'll reach it, maybe we won't. But man, this shit pisses me off. Because I'm just climbing now without a clue in the world on whether I'm going to make it. I've got three stamina bars. Link's climbing like a fucking champ. But it still feels like I'm not going to make it. Too fair, I should do. There's no reason why I shouldn't. The top's getting ever closer, you know. Oh, Link. Oh, baby. Oh, Link, you fucking beast. 
Oh, thank you, little champion. Do you feel the climbing gear is probably the most useful? gonna send up here and then what? Oh we send up here. We can ascend again. And where are we now? Oh man I can so make it up there. But let's pick the easiest path. I don't know whether I can actually. I know I said Link climbed like a fucking champion, but I think he climbed like a champion because it was a very small wall. Don't really think he can climb like a champion now. It's a bit misleading, you know. They told us to go down this chasm and they like completely fucked us. You know what? I'm gonna fast travel back to this light route because I don't I don't understand how I'm supposed to get there. I don't know. Please help. You know, there's going to be some guy in the comments, right, that's going to look at me and be like, you are a fucking idiot. Like, there's something clearly very obvious because, obviously, story progress is a very important thing in this game. They, did they say go a bit more southern? Because if I go, like, where is the easiest way to get to this thing? Because I'm thinking if I go north, that makes no difference, right? But if I go from the east, does that make a difference? Because right now, right, if I'm to do this and go this way, it doesn't really do anything for me because I just get stopped by the massive, like, impending wall. Which, I'm not going to lie, I can't really climb. It's not really possible. Obviously, that wall is extremely terrifying. I'm going to lose all my hearts. I mean, I can try and climb it. Not confident, but I can try and climb it. It's not great. If by the end of one stamina bar I'm not at least halfway, I'm going to quit. Because that's got to be the roof. Right, that can't be the mountain. Oh yeah, I can easily make it up this wall. I'm starting to think, right, at what point do I just go to the, like, the Akala Plains and just do it that way? And just experiment. Because right now, this can't be very entertaining for any of you to watch. 
Just me struggling to find where the entrance to the, the fucking mine is. I'm sure, right? I'm almost positive that they would have de designed these mountains that you cannot traverse them. That you get to a certain point, even if you have three stamina bars, they've built it perfectly. So it's like they think that you can climb it, but you actually can't. Because I guarantee you, I'm going to be just a few t steps too short here. And it's going to get to the point where I have to use like stamina increasing stuff. And I feel like that's what their goal was all along. Just to get you to use stamina increasing stuff. Because I'm up here. But now where? Because it's like there's still a massive impending wall of doom. Right there. I'm sure if I just travel all around, it's just going to be the exact same thing. Yeah, because there's just this massive fucking wall. What do I do? There's just this massive wall in the way. What am I supposed to do? If there wasn't this massive fuck off wall. I bet whoever designed this was like, yeah, this is a great idea. Let's make players just like really suffer and really enjoy the game. Yeah, because this is a great decision from a game design standpoint. Yeah, let's make it, like, incredibly impossible to traverse. Yeah, because that's really going to make players want to play the game, isn't it? I can't get up there. You know what? I'm going from the top down and I might just go, I might just do that. Just think about where I am because like, I, if I'm going that way, just think about where I am in regards to that because it's covered in water so there must be some way to kind of go through. Like if you can't climb it, which they've clearly designed it so that you can't climb it, very, very clearly they've, they've done that. So if that's the case... Surely you can at least... There's somewhere where you can just go through it. There's got to be somewhere that you can just go through. Because if there's not, from a game standpoint, that makes literally zero sense. Because then there's a hole in the story. There has to be something that I'm missing here, which I clearly cannot find. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with my original plan of just kind of following the statues.
mean, this guy says to go this way. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna trust it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go. So I found another strategy to go off of. Um, I think we should kind of go off the statues, which I think was kind of how it was intended to be played. Oh, it was really that simple. I wasn't even that far off to begin with. I just kind of went around it and ignored it the entire time. So yeah, the entire time that I thought it would be... There's, there's guys here. So the entire time that I thought that this would be a good idea, and just kind of go around it. It was definitely a great idea. I loved it. So this is great. I mean, at least we found the place. Only took me about half an hour. It took me about half an hour, but at least we got there in the end. Could have been worse. Actually, you know, it could have been a lot better, let's be honest. But at least we got there. Um, I'm finally out of my little tantrum of being, like, partway through editing this video. And I've just kind of heard myself just probably going, Where is it? Or just yelling that. Um, and I actually found it. Um... But yeah, hopefully this lights up the place. It, it does. Um, very evidently, uh, there's a little gap in the wall up in the northern part there. It, it, it's how you get to it. Um, which, obviously, me clearly did not realise that you had to follow the statues. Which is always how it was intended anyway. But yeah, I seem to think otherwise. Because I play this game like I'm an idiot. And yeah, I don't play this game how it's intended. So obviously me being me and being the smart guy that I am. It's me. Um, I seem to think it's very smart to just kind of try and find your way through there just by wandering around and see if you can find anything. Don't do that because you'll find yourself getting very frustrated very quickly uh, like I did. Um... So yeah, don't try it. You very quickly realise it's not a good idea. But yeah, mo moving on. Um, let me see what's been written in the in the notebook today. The only way to enter up enter the depths for, is through chasms. Up after the upheaval, many chasms appeared across Hyrule. When navigating the depths, proves to be treacherous. Or pro proves too treacherous. Try leaving and returning for a different chasm. To fully conquer the depths, we must find every entrance. Unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. It is rumoured, for instance, that a chasm somehow opened inside a cave. Surely this is not the only concealed entrance. There must be even, there may even be holes that do not seem to be chasms at the first place. But take heart, the gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon, and most can be seen from above. Glory to Master Koga. Oh, I bet there's a chasm right above this. Well, one of them opened inside a cave. But yeah. Hello, my dude. Mm. Uh, what am I doing wrong? You don't have the hand. Moving my angles off? No, that's still not working. Whoa, how long have you been there? Yes, I know it's you, Link, mask and all. Why, well, you little tried to catch me off guard, did you? You... Cowardly sneak. Like I said before, my plan has changed, but we really mind everything up there is to mind around here. So, what you saw was just, uh, you know. 
I was killing time. Nice. You were killing time. So, so yeah, you get it. Anyway, I can't believe you followed me to another mine. Persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before. But right now, you are the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh. Oh, is he going to use a fucking thing on the... Oh, he's got a raft. And he's got two little minions. I've got things to do, so let's make it real quick. Yiga clan, attack! Wait, can I just... Meow. See you later, bitches. Are you joking? Then we got on the river. And... Wapoof! Don't think I'm not stealing this bitch. So I have to attack them properly then. Can I try and be an arsehole? So obviously you know me, I love being myself an arsehole. Aha! Wait, hold on. Can I use a spear? That's useful. Well, that's great. He hasn't got very much, like, downtime, has he? Can I just bomb you? Hit you with a bomb flower. Come on. Where are my bomb flowers? Here. Ah, wait. I reckon I can hit him now. go. That was easy enough. Uh, the steering steering stick got wet and so my hand slipped. No matter. Once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges this place has to offer. And there's more. I just got word from my underlings that they've located the man himself. They found the Demon King. Just one more step. One teeny little step until the Yiga Clan's long seen desire comes to function. We have more charges than it that we have more than enough crystallized charges now. And there's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Mm. Hear me now, Link. It's time to finish to start the final excavation. The northwestern abandoned mine awaits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon, offer it to the Demon King, and bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. I don't know where you're going with that, mate. The whole place is surrounded by fucking things. He's going out that way. Oh, he's disappeared. Well, that's one thing, I guess. Oh, greetings! Thank you for eliminating the intruders. I was listening closely to the goings-on. The northwestern abandoned mine is 
that man is heading for is like the abandoned Hebra mine. But there are a few chasms in Hebra by which, by which to, to reach it. The path stretching from Hyrule Ridge was that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there being a chasm somewhere that connects directly to the abandoned mine. There's one other thing before you resume your journey. Oh, he's got another schematic. Cool. Oh, thanks for the help, broski. And I've got another huge crystallized charge. I've got 360 of these at this point. Is he gonna... Can I use the uh, thing to get important equipment? It's a forge construct. I am forge construct. Oh, I understood what Zonite was. You don't have to explain it to me. Oh, is he doing it for me? He's getting something for me. Oh, I got it. But I don't have that many Zonites, so I can't really... can't really use those. And I feel like now Zonite is way more useful than the other ones are, I think. Like, Zonite's way more useful than what, like, anything in that shop would be useful for. It wouldn't, it wasn't before, but now it is, because you can get those crystallized charges in the Zonite just in the depths themselves. Um, what schema stone is that? A bolt boat. Hopefully it's, wait, don't tell me the other one would have been useful for this one. Don't think it was. Let me see. Build. I don't know what use this has. Oh, it just fucking shocks things. Oh, this is a great way to test it out. Ah. What a great way to test it out. Anyway. Um, that's the Neiru mine. Uh, now he's gone up here. Which I don't think there's really anywhere to go. There's no chasm, like, directly nearby, like he said. But there's ones that, like, lead straight to it, which I think is probably this one. He said there was one nearby... The like the the village that like the bridge that was like that you could use to go straight there, which I think was that one. But anyway, if we see the thing, if we see the statues, we at least we know now. If you see the statues, then use the statues because then you can get to it easier. Because once again, I think again it's surrounded by water, so it's one of those where it's like you're gonna have to do a similar sort of thing again. Yeah. So, follow the statues. Yeah. I would say follow the statues. So, this one's pointing up this way towards this one. I may as well beat, try and beat this guy. It's a Hinox. But I don't really see any point. There's not really much of value on his body. I didn't mean to do that. Come on, where's the bright bloom seeds? Here they are. So where are you pointing? Down this way. You're saying that way. Ah. I'm 
sure it's down this way. Pretty sure that's the way that it said. Yeah, it did. Cool. Now we go this way. Where's another statue, though? Because he said to go that way. Where was that one pointing? Ah. This way. And then this one's pointing... Which way? Up this way. Wow, because that's really going somewhere, isn't it? Ah, this way. I think so, anyway. It was pointing this way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Aha. I mean, unless I'm mistaken... Ah, light route. There we go. This will be useful. Now we'll be able to see at least most of the map around here. That helps. Now I need to be able to get... Yeah, now I need to be able to get back up here. Because I, I don't really know, they kind of stopped pointing for me, and I can't really remember where they were pointing. Aha, found them. It's pointing Adisa way. See, that's why the light route is so important. There's all the other statues, so we can follow them. Follow these statues. You know what? It took me half an hour to find that first one. And it's now took me about 20 minutes. Well, not 20 minutes, but like not that long to find this one. And now... He's in the wall. Ah. So do I have to climb? Because you're telling me it's in the wall. That's strange. There definitely should be something up ahead. What's the matter? Are oh, you investigating this place too? Ah. Look, see how this stone statue is just falling into the wall? These, things are just, uh, these statues are typically set in rows with one sight line leading to the next until they finally stop at an old mine. But this is different. A chain of statue ends here. I've looked all over, but there's no sign of an old mine. Could it be somehow inside this wall? But I don't see any kind of entrance. <laughs> oh, well, I found you here, so at least the statues led me to a hero. Your life is mine. <laughs> Hups! <laughs> 
I get in there. How does this work? Because obviously this is like, it's, it's inside the wall, but how do I get in there? Because obviously it's definitely walled off. They said that you might... They, they were mentioning it in the chasms, right? Remember they said they were like... In the, in the notebook, they were like... Not all chasms can be like... Or not all places of the depths can be... Like, visitable from just navigating the depths. Like, there are chasms inside caves. Um, because he was like... There was a chasm that was inside a cave. Like, can you believe that? Didn't they say that in the books? So, is... Would it be that we have to access it from above ground? Because if we did, that would be incredibly smart. It'd be so fucking cool if we had to access them from up, up here. And the way you get to the mine was from up above. Because it did say that, didn't it? In like, the Yiga Clan's notebook, it was like some chasms you can't access from up above. Like you have to go like you have to go down below to see them. Or like you have to go down below to like actually access them. Why would it not be against one of these walls? Because that's what I'm thinking. That these are against one of these walls. So that, obviously, the entrance is over here. So... It would make sense for this to be the case, right? Like, wouldn't this make sense? Hold on, let me just fast travel to the shrine because I reckon it would be like somewhere over here. Like, it would be like locked off. Because obviously the entrance is like right there. I, I, I don't know, I might be hitting at the wind here. Like, I might just be like thinking too much into this because obviously this game is all about kind of theorizing and strategizing puzzles because it, they're all puzzles, right? So, would it not make sense for them? Because why would they hint at it if it means nothing? Like, they wouldn't just hint at it if it doesn't, if it's not going to amount to anything. If it's not going to amount to anything, why would they mention it? Because they were like, all chasms must be accessed, like, some chasms are accessed from caves. Like, can you believe that? But, like, why would they say that if there was no intention to actually put one in a cave? Like, obviously, the chasm is, like, round here. Well, not the chasm, but the thing's, like, round here. So would it not make sense for... Would it not make sense? I don't know. I might be, like, hitting at the dark.
But there must be one around here, no? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just kind of thinking out in the air, really, because I'm just like, well, I don't really know if this is, like, entirely true. Like, I'm just kind of... I feel like I might be wrong, but I feel like I also might be right at the same time. Like, why would there... I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking, you know? Let me try and get to this rock. Is there any way possible that it would be in this gap in the wall here? There's a little gap, there's a little stone wall up there. Don't tell me it's up there. Am I right? Because I'm just thinking there's a little gap in the wall there which wasn't, well I mean it must have been there before, I must have just not noticed it. Choosing, first of all, they say in the notebook that you can that you can only access some chasms through a cave. Like there's a there's a chasm in a cave that are like undiscovered. And then they also mentioned as well when we were visiting those statues in the depths, they were also like, oh yeah, they're there as well. Like the the research well researcher quote unquote. It was a Yiga clan member. Excuse me. But um, they mentioned as well, they were like, somehow there must be a way to enter in it through, like, there must be a way to enter in it either from above or straight through this wall. They must have said that. Because they wouldn't insinuate it otherwise. Yes! I knew it! Because they said as well, didn't they? They were always like, yeah, it's, it's, it's here. Like, you have to access it from above. Rito Village Chasm. There's some that you can't access. There we go. Abandoned Hebra Ruins. There must be some form of light route here, mustn't there? Yeah, I have to say. You can't be expected me to fight fucking Cobra. I knew it, man. There must be more of these then. There must be more of them that are like this, so that you can't see on the map. Even if you've like, yeah. There must be some that you can't see on the map. Because like, there's some like that that have like pitfalls. There must be more things like that that you can't see or you can't access from the depths. Like no matter how much you traverse the depths, you cannot access it. Other than when you go above and see the chasms from above. Because there's only some that you can find in caves. Which is why, if you look at the overworld... Every single shrine that you have here will have a light route directly underneath it. Like, if I hover over this light route, there's a shrine right above it. It's the same thing with the Rito Village Shrine. If you go to the depths, there's a light route on it. And it's probably the same thing with the ones in um, Goron City as well. Like, the, there's, there's light routes here where they are. Like, it's the same with, um, with Zora's Domain. Like, where is it? It's over here. Like, there's a shrine here because there's a light route by the mine. Man, that's crazy. This is insane. I didn't actually think that. Like, like this game is insane. Like, you just kind of... You sit there and you're just like... Would they do that? Nah, they wouldn't do that. But then they do. And it's fucking incredible. You just love to see it. He's go. He's doing the older om, om. He's doing that. Hoya. Hello. 
I bet he's gonna be like, you fell right into my trap. Mm. I've been waiting for you. Your disguises will do you no good, Link. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. Mm. And now, mm. our gift to the Demon King. Mm. A weapon beyond compare. Will be reborn. He's just pointing at me. He's doing the wheat, wheat, wheat. Is he going to use it? Today will go down in infamy as the day of our ultimate weapons resurrection and the day the world faces its end. Behold this feat of engineering. Oh my, it's a construct. This unstoppable Zonai construct. Count your blessings, Link. Your death will prove the Yiga Clan's might. Then I'll go take my rightful place in the darkness below the castle where the Demon King now dwells. Yes, where all, where the end of all things will begin. In the deepest reaches of the castle, far beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, it's another one of these fights. Now, come and get me. This time, I'll bury you. Oh. I forgot how you fight using the constructs. I've completely forgotten how you fight using the constructs. Oh, man. I, I just completely forgot how to, like, fight using this guy. But I can guard still. There we go. There we go. This can't be that hard to do, right? I just need to figure out, like, how to do this properly. Um, let's use this. I've cornered him now. But this can't be that hard now. This is where this becomes incredibly useful. There we go. Easy peasy. That was just easy. Oh, my beautiful weapon. All my work destroyed. Have that. You little twerp. I was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King. You think I'm just going to let that stand? Do you? <laughs> I'm terrible at laughing. I can't do laughs. I may as well just let them do it themselves. Time to bust out some of my serious moves. A brand new technique I came up with in the deepest darkness of the depths. It will destroy you. The earthquake technique, I bet. Oh, okay. Just loads of rockets. Tremble in fear before my unstoppable Koga rocket. This is the end. Now fly, Koga rocket. Oh, it's going to shoot him. Yeah. This wasn't supposed to happen! How dare you, Link? I'll have my revenge! How convenient that it goes straight up the chasm. How very convenient! There's two. Why is there two? Master Koga of the Yiga clan. 
Oh, the constructs. Greetings. I'll come to you. Please wait a moment. I will come to you. Wow, I teleported. Thank you for driving out the trespasser. I watch your battle closely. It is unlikely he will appear in another abandoned mine. His manner of departure attests to that. Mines similar to this one can be found under thriving surfaces, surface settlements, and other places of distinction. Oh, okay, so they tell you now. So mines similar to this one can be found un under thriving surface settlements, so like mines and stuff like that, and other places of distinction. There appears to be some connection between the surface and the depths. Very curious. Perhaps you find this equally intriguing. Maybe a good idea to, for you to explore this connection. Like this up of the shrines and the light routes then being connected there. Um, there is one other thing before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages schema stones. Yes, that's fine. So they tell you, they tell you now that in under significant places of importance, there will be mines. Like there'll be a mine probably underneath here because of like the nature of things. Oh, that's my alarm. Um, but there'll also be like mines like beneath like certain places of importance. So maybe beneath Korok Forest, you'll have like something there. Well, there already is. There was something important there. But that's good to know. That's good to know. Because if you ever want to explore that, we can. Um, again, huge crystallized charge. But I wonder what this one's going to be. A diamond. Nice. Um, that's fine. I've already spoken to this guy. What did it say in the diary? Because obviously the diary is the main one. I want to see what it says in the diary, because that was important in finding this. Every Yiga could keep their glory glorious purpose kindled in their heart by singing our anthem at least three times a day. Yiga clan anthems of the depths. We clumps of earth, glory to Koga and the mighty Yiga clan. Our master is the strongest, He's our, he's got a secret plan. His fall from sand to darkness did bring him to the depths, D but did he waver? Never, He act his action leapt. The Yiga clan then followed f hearts fiery true. We'll soon raise up our weapon, revived by stone of blue. In the dark we dwell now, we covert clumps of earth. Soon we'll rise and take Hyrule for everything it's worth. Glory to Koga and the mighty Yi clan. The earth itself will tremble. Our ascension is at hand. Glory to Master Koga. Cool. Well, at least it rhymed at some point towards the end. That was quite cool. Cool. Authorizer verified. Welcome. That's fine. It's the same same words every time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Schema stone. Schema ston. A rocket platform. Nice. I guess that's how we get out of here. Potentially. Nice of you. I wonder if I can get up here now because I feel like there's probably something important up here before I kind of end the episode because it's probably been quite a long one. But we've managed to do pretty much every side adventure now. Aside from obviously Penn's reports and obviously the Hyrule Compendium. And then there's just things, there's, and then there's just the little things. Like I've obviously got. Um, the Depths Coliseums, because obviously that's quite important as well. Um, I've got something important there. Um, and yeah. Yup. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to go back round. Tippity top to the barber shop. There we go. Usually there's either a chest or some sort of large pub on it, which is what there is now. What's well, a grand pub? Don't tell me there's some way to 
enter over here. No, there's not. Cool. Well, that's good to know anyway, that there's like a mine up here, um, which is quite cool. There's still a very, very large amount of the depths that we have not explored. I don't know if I'm going to get around to exploring the whole thing, because um, obviously it's going to become very, very long if I start exploring the whole depths. I feel like the next episode is kind of going to be... I don't really know what the next episode is going to be. There's still things that I have to do. Um, I feel like one of the next episodes is um, doing the Depths Coliseum. Like, there's a Coliseum that is here, um, which I feel like is um, it's where all the Lynels were. If you remember, there was like 20, 20 episodes back or so um, when I got to here um, and I went in and there was like a trial of Lynels, um, which is... Um, Something that I think I'm going to do next. Um, there's a few little errands things that I kind of want to do. There's obviously, we've got that Zora Spear, which we can now go to um, Zora's Domain and sort. Um, we can now get some stuff from that guy for that now. Um, and there's obviously places where there's the, the Rito bow as well over here, which we can go and grab. Um, I think if we get those two, maybe get like a Boulder Crusher or something, because um, we're going to need that um, for the eventual Lionel, because I remember that. We're going to need that Boulder Crusher. Um, and then we're also, and then we can probably just do the Colosseum then. Um, I don't know if there's any more than just one. There's probably more than just one. Um, because obviously there's, there's definitely chasms like over here. Um, just can't really see them. But yeah, there's definitely chasms like around here. We just haven't really discovered them yet. Because you only kind of see them once you discover them, I think. Because I can get in through that one over here and then maybe go down here or something. And it's the same with these. Like, there's obviously, there's a chasm here. Um, there's like a chasm here, but obviously because it's full of water, can't really get there. So we might have to go from this side and go that way instead. Because obviously, there's obviously, well, there's water here as well. There's all sorts of things that we might be able to get to. Um, and obviously, there's this thing over on this treasure island, which... It's probably going to have to be a chasm somewhere over on this island, which we can get get to. Um, but yeah, there's, there's plenty of things to do. Uh, there's plenty of places to be. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, this episode. Um, there's still plenty of things to do. Um, don't really know what we're going to do. Um, but there's still plenty of things to do. So hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, very long episode. So I hope you guys enjoy that one. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.